Hello and welcome to the Sally Tomato YouTube channel. I'm Kate and here at Sally Tomato we enjoy bringing you projects and tutorials that both teach and inspire. Today we're going to be making the Merry and Bright Candle Wraps. This is a great no-sew project that's perfect for kicking off your holiday making. Have fun using smaller pieces of cork, full leather, they need to be non-woven because we have raw edges, and collect some empty jars. It's a great way to recycle. Use portions of the included punch designs to fit smaller wraps for smaller jars. Add a candle and see your designs glow or use the festive jars to hold seasonal greenery or treats. We're going to start by measuring the jar first to ensure that the wrap will fit well. Begin with measuring the circumference, including a little extra for an overlap. Also measure the desired finished height. Feel free to reshape the main fabric rectangle as needed to fit your jar. If your main fabric rectangle is smaller than the punch pattern, which is included in the free pattern download, use a portion of the punch design. Simply trim the paper pattern for the punch design to fit your rectangle. Center and tape the punch pattern on the wrong side of the main fabric wrap. Or you can certainly use temporary adhesive spray by spraying the wrong side of the paper pattern and then center that pattern on the wrong side of your main fabric wrap. Gently press the pattern in place with your fingers. You could certainly add sewing clips if you'd like or even try the sew tight magnets. Cut or punch the design following the punch pattern and using the mini fabric punch set, deluxe rotary punch, or precision cutting tool. Or use a combination of all the tools to create an interesting variety. Here's a quick tip. If you're creating a smaller candle wrap, you can easily customize the punch design by not punching all the holes in the pattern. When I was creating this project, I found it was really easy to follow the paper itself for the first candle wrap. And then once I had all the holes punched, I could simply trace through the punched holes for any other candle wraps using that same design. Made it very easy. I had my instant pattern to follow. I like using the rotary punch. So I found it was easiest to punch all the same size holes first, then change my hole size on the punch, punch all those holes and continue. That way I'm punching all the same size holes at one time and continuing to the next size hole. This step is optional, but it is helpful for holding the wrap in place. Use adhesive spray and spray the wrong side of your punched wrap. Now apply the wrap to the outside of the jar, keeping the bottom edge of the wrap even and then overlapping the short ends. Secure the overlap with permanent glue or double-sided tape. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this easy to create decor. Let us know in the comments if you have other questions or suggestions for this fun little pattern. Please share and show off your photos using the hashtag Sally Tomato on social media. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out our website and our blog for more fun and creative projects. Until next time, have a great making day.